And his opponent, Thomas Anthony. Isaki Bahense, Jaime Canuto, por favor, apresente número um. Max is changing grips with Bushisha there. Surprised Bushisha didn't go for that. That you know that his single slash <laughs> double that he always goes for. I think he didn't expect the guy going to pull. Yeah. Good underhook by Bushisha. Oh, almost good job, Max turning up. Got to recover there. Excellent work. Yeah. Nothing. Bushisha just moves a lot of everything he does. There's a lot of power behind it. It's a lot know. of power. Look, he already like. Birthing. Thomas did well recovering the, the, the no, back. I take. agree. He did a good job there, yeah. With that underhook. Crypt fighting there, Bushisha with a head fight. I think Max uh, Thomas is probably gonna uh, pull guard again any second now. I think it's hard to pull guard on Bushisha because yeah. he, he, he's he, he's so he's such a strong top uh, uh, top player, right? Like you, you know, he's hard to find a guard. Where do you neutralize Bushisha? Where, where yeah. do you get him to? Stop moving first place and then get him off balance. I, would, I think like um, uh, it's a little bit risky to pull Bushisha guard, especially yeah. on this kind of weight division. I think if I was uh, Thomas, I would try to kind of counterattack the singles that Bushisha would do, yeah. like Bushisha, like uh, um, Cyborg does. You know, like yeah. if they're on the hook and try to turn because yeah, he has yeah. enough power to do so, as as we already yeah, saw. Yeah. You know, like be a, a little strategy. bit of counterattack because man, pulling Bushisha guard is like kind of very risky. Yeah, well, but again, standing up with him is too. You know, I, I, think you're, I'm, I think you're right. I think a counter is his best strategy here. Is like let Bushisha lean into a single double and then, you know, look for, look for something, create something from that. And then get the points and then yeah. hold that. Because and then the on top, he might be able to, exactly. you know, it, yeah, create something, exactly. Like uh, Mateo Zinis did, uh, I guess, Hulk. Yes, played it. You know, they were both very patient. Mateo's was a little more patient, I guess. Yeah. Didn't make for a great fight for the fans, but you can you have to appreciate the, the, the strategy behind and it. And the how level of them. Exactly. Yeah. You know, they, they respect each other way Any much. little thing makes a huge difference. Very even fight so far with just over seven minutes left. Both competitors paid. Bushisha looking for that belt grip. And most likely he's looking for a hip toss when someone reaches for that belt. Or oh, guard pull. Up, up, up. No. Establish. That's a good sweep. Good sweep. So nice. Two them out. Them out. And that's the beginning of the end. Yeah. Thomas is in a tough, tough spot right now. Good recovery guard. Yeah, good job with that half guard. Like, can he do something with it? Six-point lead by Bushesha. Yeah, Max needs to make sure he stays on his side, but keeps Bushesha's knee trapped. That's the key, is not to lose Bushesha's knee. Once he loses that knee, it's going to be hard to stop him from passing. Isaki Bahense. Isaki Bahense. Por favor, apresente número um, ameritamente. Thomas with the underhook there, trying to position himself in half guard there. Well, is not giving him much with the shoulder pressure now. Once he establishes that shoulder and cross faces Thomas, it's even, it's even, a, it's going to be even harder for him. He's got to make sure he keeps that head clear so he can at least turn into Bushesha and do something with that underhook. Yeah, now he gets that. This is when it's going to start getting tough for Thomas here, uh, Raleigh. Yeah. Because I mean, that shoulder is going to get heavier and heavier every every second of the match. And yeah. now Bushisha frees the knee. Like I was telling you, you can't lose that knee. Once you lose that knee, now it's over. Yeah. yeah. Tough spot. Bushisha could use that bottom leg to push his hip down so Thomas doesn't keep falling his foot around. Because when you have long legs, you have a problem, right? It's, it's difficult true. to free the foot. 
So you got to use that bottom leg to make room to free the top leg. Yeah, Shisha yeah. lost the, the, the shoulder on the face, and that's, that works in uh, Thomas's favor, but can he do anything with it? Can he come up? The fetus position. Yeah, I couldn't get tight enough to, you know, get to Bushesha's back. Good job, like, you know, holding his own there, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, it seems up like he likes to play the half guard. Number though. one grappler in the world today. Bushesha, which is, again, in the final of the absolute for the third year consecutive against Leandro Law. Will, will they be fighting this time, or what do you think? I hope so. I hope so. Three points for Bushesha. I, I admire, I admire, um, Bushisha's um, action, action, like you know, g -g granting a, a title to a friend, but because he couldn't fight. But now is he? Is he? You know, they're gonna give back. I want to see kind of that. Brothers, I wanna see, yeah, I want to see that fight. Yeah. They have fought before. Like I know they, they have. have. Yeah. They have. But I think by the action that Bushisha they did, I think knowing Leandro, he would be very. Uncomfortable to fight for it. He would, I think he would give back. Yeah. You know. Well, he wasn't. He didn't seem too comfortable last time because it was a bit of a surprise too. I think. Yeah. Now, Bushish at this point, he doesn't seem to be in a hurry to finish, or he's just cruising that top position and waiting time out. Like it's, you know, he's got he's gonna have some tough wars ahead of him. He's in his, not only is he fighting for another title in his weight class, but also in the open. So he's got three minutes, 30 seconds left. Neon Belly, I don't see Bushisha really pushing hard for a submission unless it presents itself. Uh, two points, three minutes and a half to go. You know, and for Thomas, it's this guy, you know, you're going against the number one guy in the world, not getting submitted. I don't like that mentality, frankly. Like people are just like, oh, I didn't get submitted, I won. A lot I mean, of people do. Sense. It's yeah, a victory but, for them, right? But like considering like this discrepancy in, in accomplishments here, right? Like Bushish is one of the most accomplished guys in history. You know, Thomas is holding his own. It needs to be. It needs to, you know, give a little push though, try to escape and maybe open up the game a little bit more. Yeah, he definitely fights for one that top down. You can see yeah. the way that he sh uh, took the shoulders in and protected yeah. the neck. Yeah, he's just not, not trying. Like, not going to get tapped. You can see Bushisha looking at the ref there. He's like, "Where are my points?" You know, you can't talk to the ref, but you can talk to the ref with your body, with body language, right? All right looks like I think, I think he managed to get that. He's uh, I can't in, see from here how deep that choke is. It looks like he's got his hands in. Yeah, it feels like he's... But normally chokes, they would have tapped by now. If we were, like, deep enough, he would have... Yeah. Yeah, he looks like he's got it across the face. Which sucks, but doesn't really mean you got a submission. And this pressure that uh, Rochelle is putting, just getting Thomas tired and tired. Oh, yeah, because you, you, every time you move, you move it to 150 pounds, <laughs> you know, 60 pounds on top of you. Just cruising into victory here. One minute, 40 seconds left. Thomas having a really hard time finding himself. Can't recover guard. There we go. Nice lapel feed there by Thomas. I think it would make his day if you could sweep a shisha, get on top. Right, like you know, <laughs> you made his fight. Yeah, man. Like you know, I mean, he's he's holding Dude, himself he's tough. well. I, 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 this I know pressure, he's, he's tough so hard, hard, but yeah, but yeah, that's the Bahau one. Bahau does that. Yeah, Bahau I, will go for the guy who's a killer at that best of all time, and Margarita, who yeah. literally made a career out of doing the pretty much. Like, he had like two takedowns on that right there. It was unbelievable. And then a choke. Yeah, seamless. And yeah. he did it over and over and over, and just unstoppable, man. There was a minute there, like people couldn't touch that guy. No, he was yeah. incredible. You know? Have you fought him? Yeah, I fought him once. How did they go? I got him in a triangle. I got him in a triangle. Good yeah. one. I caught him by injury. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really count. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. If the injury was in the competition, yeah, <laughs> in the fight. 
What was your, what was your winning move? <laughs> got him injured. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, he was one of my biggest accomplishments. Well. Like, I was oh, yeah, in front of his game. Especially then, man. Like, he, was, um, yeah, he was an animal. Man. Huge. Absolutely. Huge. All right. Approaching the end of this bout. And, yep, Thomas holding his back. Himself away. Oh. Fought to the end. He's a strong guy, huh? That's good. He did pretty good. He's good, man. He's, He's so happy to yeah, just be there. You know what? Exactly. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just amazing to be able to fight someone that you admire. No, no shame losing to Michelle. Sure. Honestly, man, if I ever made a comeback, bro, I would want to be against like one of the top five guys in the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, I want to like, see how, like, where do I come stand right now against like a top five guy. Yeah, I don't get my butt kicked most likely, but I do it with honor, with pride. Yeah, I mean, when I when I with myself, one of the the guys I always like, you know, consider man, that guy is a good guy. It, that was a big fun of him, like, it was in my weight division that I never had the opportunity to fight on Saulo Ribeiro. You never fought him. I never Me fought neither. Him. Yeah, the two then, guys. He was the guy that when I, when I started, like, you know, he was the most dominant guy, the guy in your weight class. Yeah. Yeah. So the two guys that I wish I had fought. I, we're always in my, final, close to my division. Checkman, Marcos Almeida. So the two guys I wish I had fought were Saulo Ribeiro. I you never fought him. And Romulo Bahama. On map two, advancing to the semifinal. Me and Romulo were in the same bracket Felipe probably 100 Bezeha. times. 